Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeepers with Cool Guy. Another episode of Jeepers with Cool Guy. The three linchpins, well, there's two smaller ones like this that are part of this arm that connect down in here. Then you have your main pivot arm, and each one of these things is held in place by a cotter pin. So I had to go in, pull out the cotter pin, and then ultimately unhook the smaller one, which you can access through the small holes that are part of the master cylinder support bracket right here and push it out the other side. Once you get to that point, then you can move the pivot arm and pull that thing, the connecting rod out through the, uh, the firewall. Interestingly enough, the smaller line is a half inch nut and the larger line is a 9 16 I've already drained out the um, master cylinder with a turkey baster so there isn't any brake fluid in there. It makes it a lot easier. Or you could do it this way. You could unscrew these things and drain them out this way. Whatever makes you happy. Those just simply pop off. And then uh, all you need is a clamp release, a pair of pliers. Try not to get the brake or the brake fluid on you. The stuff is very caustic. Of course, an intelligent person would be wearing gloves. Okay, release that vacuum line clamp. And at that point, it's just a matter of releasing the vacuum the uh, the vacuum line which can be easily done with a pair of pliers but lightly done because it is rubber there so from that point this thing should be released from all the connection ports now you have to do is just take these bolts off this thing is heavy so make sure that you've got either some kind of support holding it up or you are supporting it on your own because you don't want this thing to drop off. One bolt, two bolts, and there's your master cylinder. Right now, I'm going to take apart the uh, brake booster with the master cylinder connected to it because I need to get to this boot. You can see here, things pretty dilapidated and destroyed. And that involves taking out four bolts. And if you can, try and do this before, or loosen these bolts up before you take this thing off the firewall. Because I just loosened them up on uh, before this, and it was a major pain in the butt because they're on here pretty tight, rusted through. Uh, and then there's a metal kind of gasket plate that holds this boot into place. So we're going to take this off, we're going to take that off, and then we're going to take this off and ultimately order a new one. The one thing that I did notice is this particular booster ga uh, gasket has these circular pieces to the top, almost like air vents. So I need to make sure that when I order the new one for this, that it has that exact same look. Kind of looks like the same one as they might have used on the Corvettes. At least that's the one that I've seen on the, online. So go from there. I'm just going to take these off with a wrench. Uh, they've already been pretty loosened, so they're pretty easy to take off as of right now. I can only hope that yours is the same. So once you get those four bolts off, then you take off this piece. This is got this is hinged, and then it's got the uh, the pivot pieces that connect to the actual brake pedal, and then the piston right here. So you can kind of see that that is not in good shape. I definitely need to replace that. Let's take off this metal piece. This thing's on here pretty tight. I think it's kind of rusted through to the, to the actual booster itself. So just go along with some kind of a wedging tool, maybe it's a screwdriver, and just slowly try and break that rusted seal off and not actually bending or breaking this actual plate. And there we go, got it released. And there's your boot. So I'll have to sandblast this down, powder coat this, replace it with a new boot, 
This thing's like rubberized paper. The booster itself looks like it's in pretty decent shape though. I have to sandblast this thing down. Now that we got the bracket off, or the support bracket off the back of the booster, now we gotta take the master cylinder out from the booster. It's simply these two bolts. And then this whole assembly should come through the actual booster. And then you want it to pop out this um, hose that actually runs down into the carburetor as it builds up pressure from pushing in the brake. We'll do that afterwards. But for right now, let's take off these two bolts. Th these nuts. Yeah, you see? These nuts. These nuts are exact same size as the ones on the booster. They're 9 16 These nuts. Well, that was easier than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, that was easy. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, I was wrong. The whole assembly does not come through the booster. This is your master cylinder. Get that cleaned up. You got your brake booster. I don't know much about how these things are built, so I have to do a little bit of research on that. And then as far as your booster tube goes, this is simply just pulling it out. That's it. It's just an air hose, plastic air hose connector. With a little bit of a washer on the inside of it. There's your, br uh, your power brakes, master cylinder, and your power brake booster. Taken apart. Yeah!